black hole anything. Now this is a pretty, pretty damn good uh, Rubik game too, isn't it? No. Very, very concerned about the picks on IG side. If I walk like this, no one will notice. Yeah, how is Necro's lane going to go here? He actually does lane against Morphling pretty decently because of Death Pulse. Like, how are the lanes going to go? How does Ember versus Storm Spirit? I feel like that favors Storm Spirit, actually. Then Centaur versus Troll. Uh, actually favors... Yeah. I don't know how IG are going to win this game. Like, aside from just, like, miracle plays by the Enigma getting five-man black holes or something... Favorite Ember. I don't know. I mean, I guess, right? Like, Storm Spirit is actually a, a really craft laner. Eidolons have come to play. They're going for the... How did XM get that last hit? There were five things hitting that creep, and XM somehow was the one that got the last hit. Lanes are... Well, Morphling's getting... Yeah. Who's Morphling going up against? Necro. Well, I guess it's pretty easy. No in-game sound pulled. Nope. Yeah. It's actually because you're deaf. I'm sorry to, to inform you. I keep trying to like go and click on the mini map and I can't and I forget that I can't Oh I miss it Sorry, keep your hands up. Um The, the the thing IG does have going for them, though, is that they are basically running a four-core lineup, right? You have the Enigma, who didn't even step into lane for a second. Just immediately went into the jungle. Pew, pew. Yeah, the bounty runes. Every time someone picks up a bounty rune, I've got to go, wow. Woo. 
Wow, Jean. What sound does Black Hole make? Black Hole would just be like a wow, 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 wow. Ooh, this is almost enough damage. He is able to get the Ghost Shroud off, but it's not going to be enough to keep him alive. James able to take the first blood off of IG. Now Emo is on the run. Who was saying that the Ember wins that lane? Hmm. JT goes down in the top lane once again. And th this is kind of the problem, right? Is we're at the point where once they've done that twice, it's literally like every time you come back uh, into it. Every time you come back, you're just going to die again. Remember, he's really close, right? He's really close to XM in terms of the farm levels. Dogfights, again, four core lineup means. Oh, look at Necro JT. 11 and 1 in his lane. They pull back Emo. Emo, is he going to die? One more right click from XM, able to get that kill. The silencer kills off Oli in the bottom lane as well. So, five minutes into this game. Four to zero lead for C-Deck. They've got they're up 2k gold and they're gonna take all of the bounty runes. Oh wait, there's one left. Ready? Ready? Wow. <laughs> there. You got a bounty rune sound, guys. JT getting engaged on again if James can find the telekinesis this should be a very very dead necro into the hoof stomp one more right click no more double edge needed JT goes down yet again Owen Wilson wow soundboard wow There's probably, it's probably out there, Max Potter Games. It's probably out there already. Sound can be used to heal up that Morphling straight to full HP. And everywhere we look, IG are losing the lanes. I mean, ADC is the only member farming okay. Well, I guess, I guess... Yes, Ember has like started to catch back up. How are you 2,000 gold down when you have a, a jungling enigma? And as we've said, I mean, like jungling enigma, sure, he's good. He's getting money. He's going to be able to push towers. But his black hole is literally just not a non-factor this game. There's going to be uh, Rubiclear to steal it. There's going to be Global Silence to cancel it. it. It's going to be hard. Oh man, my nails are absolutely filthy. Pull back, JT, he's dead again. I don't care how much healing you have. You're not getting out of this alive. Not even level 6, so couldn't go for the, the Reaper Scythe kill onto the support there. XM being dove on by Emo. Zip forward. Emo is going to be able to get the Remnant out, though. Z oh, they get this stun. The Maledict onto the Morphling. But with Attribute Shift, he'll be just fine as well. 
How many times has JT died now? Four? Five? Double damage rune gets picked up by XM. They're trying to fight into Emo. One more right click. <gasps> the remnant out. Emo is going to be able to actually survive this. They pull back dog fights. A couple more right clicks will be able to ensure that he is not as slippery as that Ember Spirit. Oli gets the kill onto XM. Is he going to die? Last word. Not enough damage. They'll lose their Storm Spirit, but it is just to the two supports. So it's not like anyone else is really getting levels from that. They do have Death Ward is available. Black Hole. I, again, I actually legitimately am curious if Dogfights is just not going to level up Black Hole until, like, level 11 or something. He's only level 4, though. Uh, well, they got the kill onto the Silencer, but XM comes in, finds the double kill onto Dogfights. So at least Dogfights doesn't lose any more intelligence. Tactical feeding. Who who coined the term tactical feeding? It is from a long time ago. I think it's hilarious. It's one of my favorite terms. Reaper Scythe, not enough damage. One, two, three. He gets caught by the Maledict, but Stampede away. TP home. He'll be able to heal up, avoid any further damage from it. And yeah. Zip forward, XM, he finds the bounty rune, but Dogfights is here with the Malefice, stunning up XM a little bit. He is pretty low on mana, but James coming in with the Stolen Remnants, not going to be able to find the damage they need to kill off that troll, though. What? Why did you do this to me? I actually, I honestly think that they, like, drafted Enigma, and they're like, okay, we're going to go for early push strats. And then they saw the Silencer and the Rubik, and they're like, Well, dogfights, we have a hero for you. So, good luck. <laughs> Lady C turns around, gets the root onto the Morphling, but there is the Attribute Shift. Uh, Troll not going to have the damage needed to kill him off. Man, this is some really calm music. I'm going to change the music. We need something a little... A little more hype than that. Oh, wait, there's a black hole. Goes wah, wah, wah. They got the kill. They got the kill with it, too. Well played. You've been shitting on this Enigma a lot, but he just got them a kill onto a Morphling. Which is pretty influential, and they're going to turn that around into a tower push. They see the, the Storm Spirits TPing in. They're going to be able to back off from this. One, two, three. Is he going to try to engage? He doesn't have a Blink Dagger. He's got mech, I think. Silencer gets stunned up, clipped by the Malefice. Oli is actually going to end up going down. One, two, three gets that killed, and with the Stampede forward, that's all the engagement they need. Can they chase down anything more? One, two, three, trying to catch up to them. They zip in with XM. He gets the slowdown. The Global Silence comes out. The Troll Warlord, he's going to actually tick out to the Arcane Curse, I think. One more! Yeah, he does die to the Arcane Curse. They get the Reaper Scythe kill onto XM, though. And now Oli TP's in. They've killed off dogfights as well. They're looking for more. JT, he's trying to stand and fight that, but another hoof stomp comes through. JT, he's going to end up dying here. Emo shows up, throws out the Searing Chains. Then really second guesses if he should be here. Searing Chains has also been stolen 
by the Rubik. Well, Enigma's net worth should be higher. He is a core. He was a jungle, but... Look at these net worths. Top... Not often do you see the top four net worths belong to one team. One, two, three is going to end up dying to the mallet. Maledict. We have Malefice and Maledict in this game. This is not fun. But, yeah, top four net worths. Top of the net worth charts is actually the Centaur War Runner. How is Rubik so farmed? How many kills does James have? One, two, three. They find Emo. They're going to jump forward looking for more. Oli, the bouncing from the cask, though, buying him a little bit of time. But one last zip forward, double edge, and uh, retaliate means that's a lot of damage. <laughs> we have boots. Man. He's so rich. Four, two, and six for the Storm Spirit. James, here we go. Four, zero, and ten on that Rubik. Four, zero, and ten. Oh no, he, he's been surpassed by the Troll Warlord in terms of net worth, guys. Ooh. Bounty runes? Oh, wait. We have to make the sound effects. Wow. One more. <laughs> Wasn't that perfect? Didn't those sound exactly the same, like it? Yeah, we, we knew that Rubik's game was going to be very good. You're like, this is such a good... <laughs> go, Cass, go! Bounce. This is such a good Rubik game. Like, name one ability in this game that Rubik doesn't want to steal. <laughs> like, you don't even have to time your steals on this Rubik. You can just hit R on random people throughout the fight and you're going to get something good. Battle Trance? Okay, fine. Battle Trance... I'll give you Battle Trance and uh, Ranged Form, or Melee Form Shift from, from Troll. Those are the only two abilities you don't want. Emo, they find XM, they get the root. The Cask is going to come through as well with the Death Ward, but the Global Silence, XM, he gets the zip away. Is it going to be enough? He has the Maledict ticking, he's got to time his zips, but he ran out of mana. Melee Form Rubik is just... Straight terrible. It's like one of those things where, like, um, if you if you uh, if you get it and accidentally do it and then die, like, it's one of those abilities where you're like, well, I may as well just quit the game now. That and I've seen the Rubik's that get attribute shift and then. They go all agility and then die. So Rubik is literally just sitting with like 400 HP at 25 minutes into the game. <laughs> and we do see a pretty solid push coming out here. XM going to go for dogfights. The global silence has been used. They need to kill him before it ends. Will they be able to get this off? It looks like they can. No black hole for you. Reaper Scythe comes out. Does absolutely nothing courtesy of the pipe. And now they're going to be able to turn around onto GT, the stolen Reaper Scythe. Nobody's getting any kills with these Reaper Scythes. Eventually, JT will end up going down. But two for nothing. Oh, man. 
no one taking any damage from those Reaper Sites. Keeping the tower alive though, XM, he is building, I don't know, they're not sticking around. We've got, Greaves is going to be coming out actually pretty shortly for dogfights. Storm can't dodge the scythe, hollow guy. Once you're scythed, you're disabled. What happened is, um, Centaur has a pipe. So, 1, 2, 3 was able to use the pipe active, and that blocked almost all of the damage. Yeah. No, when you get, when you get, um, attribute shift as Rubik, you just straight, straight up uh, dump all of your agility. You're not there to right-click people. So if you can suddenly just have like 3,000 HP, pretty good. Yeah, the pipe, the pipe was perfectly timed. ADC will be able to finally take out this tier 1 tower in the top lane. Composer Quest is the name of the song. That's pretty, that's a pretty epic name. Must, not gonna lie. Dogfights has an item coming. He has his Guardian's Greaves completed. Oh, I'm sure he did. There's like only one reason to have the pipe on the side of C deck, and that's to block Reaper Scythe kills. Well, and like the passive. The, like, pa uh, passive, um, resistance. Jump forward. They get the global silence onto XM. No battle transfer you. The stolen, uh, Reaper side's not gonna be enough, but they will eventually bring him down. Now they turn this around. Emo jumps in, but is this the fight you want? Black Hole gets used, but there's the Yules, the stolen Black Hole as well. Thanks, dogfights. Another Reaper Scythe comes out. This one will connect onto one, two, three. Buyback's coming in a plenty from everybody here. The Morphling might be in a little bit of trouble. He's got the waveform away. One, two, three. He shows up yet again. He gets the double edge and the damage onto two of them. They're just cleaving through. IG, that's a dieback for ADC. They are going to be able to eventually kill off that silencer. He's sitting on 28 stolen intelligence. Pipe, the 30% is before the damage block. So it mitigates, it mitigates first and then takes it away from shields. But that was a straight up one fight. How does this... Silencer has 28 stolen intel, guys. 28 stolen intel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pipe... Pipe just makes Scythe do absolutely nothing. Do I bet? I don't bet. I don't have enough, um... Extra... I don't have enough, um... Like, superfluous money. I can't afford to bet, really, is what I'm saying. Because the way I view betting is you only bet with money that you don't actually. Like, if you lose the money, you'll be fine. I should bet with, like, skins and stuff. But I just don't. I'm too busy actually casting the games. Same way I, I approach casinos. You set yourself a limit at a casino and then you go and you expect to lose that money. Oh, JT, not again. You will scepter being used to just uh, purge off the ghost shroud and XM has got another kill. Yeah, 
No Penny. Twenty three to ten. It's only a six K goal lead though. Like the goal I mean, you do have the four core lineup, right? So it being only a six K goal, like you'd expect for IG to be winning in the gold department. But they're not. He's got Greaves and he's got the he's got uh Blink queued up, only about four hundred gold from it. Well, Emo's dead. Rubik, oh my gosh. This is such an absurdly good Rubik game. I mean, historically, IG lose. Okay, Roshan being taken out here. C deck. I think they should have this one. Oli's not going to be able to make any amazing snatches this game. XM picks up that Aegis, and I think they're just going to get out of here. They don't really feel like fighting into a black hole in the pit. I'd appreciate it, Youngers, but... Don't feel like you have to. Oh, man. This feels really bad for IG, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah, no, I honestly, like, looking at this matchup, historically, IG, they've just not been playing as well. And, like, they're, like I said, their drafting is uh, not up to par with the with the teams they play against. Like, even though their mechanical skill is really good, their drafting is, I feel, their weakest point right now. And... I, I mean, we're kind of seeing the effects of that, right? Like, their draft is just not working. <laughs> they have stabilized in this game. Now, I'm not... I'm just going to have to, like, say this, right? They aren't out of this game yet. They do still have these late-game power spike heroes. Bloodstone queued up for XM here. Odds are 50 50. Yeah. Stabilized. Well, the, the gold lead has not really increased at all. They, they've been able to like push back out across the map, so they're not getting as punished for that anymore. Uh, able to get a tower. Like, they're not. They're not actively losing objectives. say that that's the smoke it's just not connecting right now dog fights he should be okay he's got a blink dagger they see the morphling they're going to be able to find jt though they have black hole blink black hole is available jt can he get out of here the remnant forward james is going to have to remnant his own way out they've lost jt now the morphling is taking so much damage can he get out of this the mallet these maledic picks are going to hurt He's got to run the black hole, lands onto the Morphling. They're going to be able to get this kill as well. It's a three for one. As, where was XM? Is it just me or was XM not in that fight at all? I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> anyway, 50 seconds and oh my god, IG. They want to make as much use of this 
uh, space as they possibly can. This is kind of fun music. What is this? Human diplomacy. Oh my god, that mega comeback. That was painful to watch. That, like, I felt so bad for FTD in that game. <laughs> XM has finished off his bloodstone, so it looks like they're just going to lose that tier 1 tower in the mid lane. And now with Morphling coming back up, they know that there's no black hole available right now. So it's going to be their chance to pressure objectives. They've still got a minute left on this Aegis as well. Uh, so we're watching JT now while there's a fight going on in mid lane. <laughs> yeah, Troll is getting fat. He is. He's he's almost top of the net worth now, right? Rubik's been keeping up with the uh, with his farm quite nicely though. Eighty one hundred. The gold leads down to two k. It gets not much. Rubik. I think Rubik needs a blink taker this game, right? You need you need the guaranteed way to stop the black hole. They've got the the Yules from XM. Uh. Global silence. They've got a lot of ways, but gotta be a little careful. E Blade, ready and raring to go. He's getting a Manta as his next item. Why did the music stop? Oh, it didn't. It's just the sound is weird. Uh, I cannot do that. I, uh, L, X, I, X, sorry. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. Why is there no in-game sound? Because there actually is, but it's just out of our hearing range. Only the dogs can hear the in-game sound. Yeah, it's because this isn't, this is a, a different stream. Unfortunately, these games are unspectatable and client. Okay, tier 2 tower going down. The tier 1, 2 in the mid lane is also very, very, very weak. So if they can get this uh, siege creep up there, they're going to be able to take it out. Tier 2, or tier two in the bottom lane goes down to IG. And they're wrapping around. They're looking like they want to fight this. Emo, he's got the haste rune to get himself out of dodge, thankfully. Whirling Axe is not going to be landing on 2 one, two, three, but the Searing Chains do. And looks like we keep going. JT, oh god. Well, JT. We know how this rodeo goes. <laughs> Dogfights is going to actually find them here. Does he have the damage, though? XM comes in looking for the kill onto Dogfights. They have the global silence if they need it. They aren't even going to use it. Dogfights is just going to die here. As XM able to finish that off? Uh, Rubik fighting up against this... <laughs> Against Emo will be able to get the kill, but ADC has joined the fight. He uses his battle trance. He's trying to catch up to XM. Won't be able to. They get the Searing Chains root onto 123. The damage is coming out from ADC, but 123 is just way too tanky. And now with the BKB ending, they jump in. They're going to be able to kill off that troll warlord buyback from Emo, but they want to force some more. Or just take some racks. They don't want to buy back on IG. They have it on all of these important heroes. JT is coming up in one second. We'll see if maybe they for or maybe they use the buybacks now. But it doesn't look like it. They're just going to sacrifice that entire lane. So they get the Rubik. They lose three. They're going to lose their shrines now as well. Roche, it's the lawn respawn, guys. That looks to me to be about a two minute Roche.
sad song for IG. <laughs> yes. Poor IG. Let us play them on the song on the world's smallest violin. Emo TPing up top, it looks like IG want to make at least one last defense. Roshan about to respawn in 20-ish seconds here. We'll see. We'll see if that is going to be CDEX next port of call. This will be Rosh number two. So, Aegis and Cheese. Scotty is going to be the next item for Morphling here. Oh my god, he's, he deals so much damage. Jumps forward. Emo will be able to get the remnant away, and now we're not looking at them anymore. One, two, three, trying to extract himself from the situation. Gets slowed down by the Whirling Axes and allows for the hit from those Searing Chains. He's holding on to his Stampede. He doesn't want to use it. Searing Chains from the Morphling going to be trying to keep IG back. 1, 2, 3 just doesn't take any damage, though. XM jumps forward, gets the silence. Do they have the damage? Goodbye, Droll! He does have the buyback. The cask is bouncing around between them. They are going to try to get him out of here. The Reaper Scythe is not enough damage, but that Maledict Tick will be. JT, he is going to be... Or Oli gets that kill. And now the Morphling has to wait for him down to the low ground. He clears out some vision. XM just trying to buy space as they don't have buyback on 1-2-3. And up to 14k gold lead now, right? Roche is back alive as well. Yeah, this Storm... XM has been playing amazingly on Storm 2, right? He always knows what he has to do. Split, split up the fight. Get in the back lines, distract them. I hate this. I hate that you can do this with the Courier. I hate that you can do this with the Courier so much. Because they know how low Roche is. XM jumping up, just making sure that there's not going to be any su surprises. They ha were able to kill off that Courier as well, which means Aegis and Cheese go the way of Morphling. That is, that is the one thing, right? You can kill the Courier, but it is still super annoying. Jump forward onto dogfights. He's at about half HP. Nice dodge on that cask. And the E-Blade just eliminates that Enigma from the fight. They're going to keep going for more. They have the Yules onto JT. No buyback for Enigma. Searing Chains lands onto two. The Morphling. He's taking some damage. Another Coconut comes out. Pops his Lincoln Sphere. Will bounce around between Silencer and Rubik. Troll didn't have a, a chance to, Warven. He was stunned. He died in, over the course of the chain stuns. And now on to the tier 3 tower in the mid lanes we go. Morphling has the Aegis in his pocket, so he's not really that scared. They're going to go ahead, though, take out the tier 2 tower in the bottom lane. Who did he give the cheese to? I'd imagine... XM, probably, right? Oh man, I didn't notice this too. Troll has picked up Aghanim's Scepter. So you thought it was hard enough to kill him before. Jesus, it's going to be nigh on impossible now.
Tightening the noose around the neck of IG. We're up to a 20k gold lead. XM is actually really close to level 25. Maybe they're waiting for that. What are what are the Storm 25 talents? Oh, the auto remnants. That's probably what he's getting. Oh, auto remnants. So annoying. Jump in. Hoof stomp. JT takes a little bit of damage. His Lincoln Sphere. Or the Lincoln Sphere on him is not going to get popped. Uh, Agonims on Centaur. It... So now it allow when you when you use it it allows for uh like obstacle free pathing so you can run up and down cliffs and like around uh yeah up and down cliffs uh now as well as providing a um a damage reduction during it Oh you can run through trees too Yep, no problem. Poking and prodding. That's all we have to keep doing. Who's... Uh, whoa. ADC, if he gets blown up here. But the, it's not going to be enough. They jump forward. The auto remnants starting to do some damage. But they just can't quite pop that troll like they used to. But, like, while this is going on, right, IG cannot leave their base. And 1-2-3 one, two, one, two, is just using uh, Retaliate here to kill off the tower. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's like, eventually. Eventually, right, guys? And they can't... What What are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do about it? Engage on the Centaur Warrunner? No. <laughs> oh, Tier 3 Tower? Now, rinse, let him regen, rinse and repeat, go down to the bottom. So we, looks like we've got a fight brewing in the mid lane. JT, he gets popped out. But they've already taken out dogfights. He has buyback, but they've lost Oli as well. Buyback's coming out from both of those members of IG, and now it's up to them. Can they get out of here? Morphling, he's got waveform up in just a second. We'll be able to Manta. They re-engage this. ADC, he didn't die! Do they have the control though? XM trying to give the auto remnants, trying to get enough space. A nice three man hoof stomp. That's a dieback from Oli. XM trying to get a kill here. JT got, pops the ghost shroud. The emo is dead, 120, but they get the Reaper Scythe kill onto the Morphling. He buys back. He's going to come back to this fight as soon as he can, but I don't know if he's even going to need it. JT buys back. ADC trying to run back to the fountain. And they're going to be able to get at least this lane of racks still a hundred seconds without emo on the board. JT, he's going to be caught out as well. Hoof stomp lands onto him. The double edge, the damage is there. The ghost shroud, he's got a little bit of healing, but it's not going to be enough. He goes down to the fade bolt, dead for a hundred. They have the control, ADC comes in, black hole onto three, immediately gets cancelled out. And the GG has come out, JT calls it C-Deck, take the series 2-0.